Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentuckian here with you from DeadPit.com. Today we are taking a look at an interesting coming of age thriller mm. from MVD Visual. This one comes out this week on Blu-ray, independently made, The Long Dark Trail. And no, this is not a long lost Johnny Cash film. This is a brand new one independently made, independently produced, independently funded, very independent, if you will. And the plot of this movie sounded really interesting to me, so I went and checked it out. And we're going to talk about that today on The Review. The Long Dark Trail is set in the mountains of rural Pennsylvania. The movie follows two brothers, Jacob and Henry, who escape from their abusive, drunken father, but little do the young fellows know, their mother is involved in a satanic cult deep in the Pennsylvania woods. And now they are out to find their mom, to get some form of normalcy back in their lives, and hopefully avoid the wrath of their asshole drunken father. The boys do find their mother, but she quickly tells them to get the hell out of there. This is a dangerous place. And then things go completely straight to hell for the boys. And there is a really dark ending to the movie as well, like a pre-credit sequence. So, yeah, I mean, this movie, The Long Dark Trail, I enjoyed it for what it was. I think that they do try to homage Stand By Me way too much. So if you're familiar with that movie, you're going to be like, God damn, man, they're just completely like gigantic fans of Stand By Me. I do think that the the movie's pretty good. I actually think that the young actors did well. They did good enough for this movie. There's only a handful of actors in this movie. But it's really distracting on how much they were influenced by Stand By Me. A lot of the shots in the movie were very like close, almost identical to some of the shots in the Rob Reiner movie from 86. But this movie, The Long Dark Trail, I had fun with it. I thought that it was well made for the budget that they had. And if the plot of this one sounds interesting to you, you may want to check out. This one comes out this week from MVD Visual and Cleopatra Entertainment. It's pretty much just a basic release. Well, you know, no bells and whistles along with it. Just a basic Blu-ray release, which is good. Some of the special features do include bloopers and behind the scene footage, an interview with the director and slideshow. The Long Dark Trail is out now. Check it out and check us out over at deadpit.com. Give us a thumbs up. Up you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a <laughs> if you do. Or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Let's keep our community growing here on YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that bell. Hey, everyone. It's Oak Early Jaws. We got some great shirts for you. We got Faces of Death Part 2. We got creepy stories to tell in Kentucky. The Colonel would approve. We also got DeadPit.com. We got DeadPit Radio with the little fucking DeadPit dude on there. We got It Never Ends, a Halloween spoof parody of the new movie. We got It at Night. We got The Rat Pack, Uncle Rat himself. It just gets better and better. So go on and get you some shirts over at Team Public. It just gets better and better, boss. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only one dollar.